Hey guys, Kim here from Kim on a Whim. I'm gonna do a quick overview of the kitchen. I'm basically working in the kitchen today. This countertop, I wanna get this cleared off, but we can't do anything until we get the dishes done. That's the first thing that I usually like to tackle. So we're gonna get the dishes put away from the night before and this morning, and we're going to start with the new batch of dishes because there are always dishes in my sink no matter what time of day it is. I could have just finished cleaning everything up and there will always be a dish. It's kind of the running joke. <laughs> I know sometimes when my husband will do dishes and I walk up with a spoon or something, I'm like, haha, you thought you were finished. It's never finished. There wasn't a party or anything the night before. This is just real life of what my kitchen looks like, usually on a daily basis. It gets cleaned up. Is it spotless? No, it's not, but it does get cleaned up. And we live in this house. Like this is a very lived in house. And one of my sweet subscribers said in my last video that the fact that it looked real life, like I wasn't cleaning a clean house. And that's just it. Like this is never perfect. It's just getting through the day and making sure that eh, we do what we can, right? We just have to believe it. Just in case anybody's gonna wonder, I have a bunch of cups that you'll see here on my windowsill. That's pretty much just all of my seeds for uh, the summertime. It is still kind of chilly here where I'm at. I'm in Pennsylvania and usually by now we're able to plant our seedlings that we had started. I even have some that are sitting on the kitchen table that kind of get moved around to sunny areas. But it's still kind of chilly in my area and I don't want to put anything out yet just because I'm afraid of us getting like one last frost. I think we might be safe maybe this weekend that we can start putting stuff out. But as of right now, like even today, it's kind of just a raw chilly kind of day and I just don't want to risk it yet. We put too much, Mia actually has put too much effort into these seeds for them to get put out too early and then wind up dying. So now I have all the dishes done and I'm just going to start working on the few pots and pans that I have. I know I'm not supposed to wash my cast iron pan with soap, but sometimes it just gets stuff stuck on it and I'm scraping it out in the trash now. I feel like sometimes you just need to wash it with soap and I know my husband cringes every time I do this, but what I will do and I'm going to show you here in a few minutes is, or in just a moment, I wash it out with some soap and I make sure I get all of the soap out of it and then I'll put it on the stove and I'll heat it to dry everything and then I'll come in with a little bit of olive oil on a paper towel just so I can get that oil back into the pan and not completely dry it out and then it winds up rusting but Okay, so the cast iron skillet is sitting on the stove cooling with the olive oil rubbed in it. And as that's happening, I'm gonna move on to this countertop. This is the one countertop, probably the largest surface space that we have other than the kitchen table. But this also has all of our daily use appliances, our coffee pot, our toasters. I have a little 
tin that I keep all of our breads in. And then we also have our cups, like our Starbucks cups that we use. Um, we really don't buy coffee and stuff like that out, but we put it in a Starbucks cup and then we feel fancy, I guess. <laughs> I'm not willing to pay the price of, of Starbucks coffee when I can make it at home, honestly. I know that sounds really cheap, right? But hey, I bought the cup. But anyway, so I'm gonna move on in an attempt to get this countertop cleared off. And you kind of see that I have mismatched um, jars over here, and that's because that one white canister, it's like the last one that I have. I broke all the other ones. And I have, believe it or not, Halloween candy in that. And I think that's one of those things where, because it's in the canister and we don't see it, we don't realize that it's in there, and nobody ate it and you're gonna see me dump out like a whole bunch of the candy that was in there like you see this jar is clear so we see what's in it that's all of our chick-fil-a sauce and then we have like a mason jar for all of our tea bags and then another jar for sugar and it's all clear so we know everything that's in it and I think I just need to have more clear jars even though you can still see the content and it sometimes looks messy but I think for us we need to see what's in stuff and then that way it doesn't get wasted like all of this candy here. Like I said, it's all Halloween candy and it just has to go because it's all either gooey or sticking together and just not good. So in this jar I have some old school like kind of candy that you would get from grandma's house. It all stuck together so that has to go too. And then I'm going to fill up all of my granola snacks. And these are usually just out on the counter here in a mason jar just because they're easy to see. Everybody can grab something if they want a snack, a quick breakfast. I know for me, I like to crumble them up and put them on top of like a yogurt parfait with some berries and stuff. But there's certain things that just need to stay on the countertop just because it's easier that way. And trust me, I would love like that whole clear countertop look, but that's just not... It's just not what would work for our family. Between the lines underneath your bed sheets. It started fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum game that I will lose. There's no sipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Or when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? My cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my brain door now I've lost you So now the bread bin's all cleaned out. I got rid of anything that was expired or moldy or just stale. And then I figured the toaster, I would dump all of the crumbs out of the toaster. Surprisingly, this toaster doesn't have like one of those little trays on the bottom that you can pull out to dump all of the crumbs. You actually have to just physically tip it over. I find that odd, but oh well, it's, it works. That's the important thing. It makes toast. It does what it's supposed to. Now this pineapple, I don't know what to do with this pineapple. I'm kind of over the pineapple thing. Um, I think my daughter had it in her room. I had it in my bedroom and then it wound up in the kitchen. And I don't know really, I'm probably going to donate it because I don't think I'm really into it anymore. But now I'm just going to clear off, clean off the toaster and put that back. That was all unplugged, by the way, while I was doing that. Don't ever like, stick your hands in there or anything while it's plugged in. I'm sure you guys all know that. And for the most part, the countertop is cleared off. All of the stuff that's on here is stuff that we use every day. So I'm overthinking it right now and I'm just going to let it go. 
Now I'm moving over to the kitchen table and try and get everything cleared off of the kitchen table. And here's that tray I was telling you about of more seedlings that we have that we're just waiting to put outside. You said you would frames off the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the was broken how could they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay unlike my friends you are nothing like them oh. how could they say i was broken how could they say you made me come undone now i know that it's okay unlike my friends you are nothing like them So I'm getting the table cleared off ish. I'm basically just running around and putting everything back to where it belongs, really. Like trying to get everything put back in its spot so that it's not just getting cluttered somewhere else. And then I'm gonna wipe the table down. And here's those little seedlings that I was telling you about that we're still just waiting to get them outside. It, it's gonna get nice, it really is. I know it's going to eventually and we'll be able to get everything outside and we'll have a beautiful vegetable garden in no time at all, right? <laughs> but it's a work in progress. I do have um, some cushions that I am gonna use for my backyard makeover. So make sure that if you like to see content like this, that you give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and you'll get to see when I'm going to do my backyard makeover. I'm going to do a front porch kind of makeover, but now I'm just going to put on an album, listen to some music, make some lunch and probably be on the road again shortly after that happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. How'd you do? I'm not broken. I'm just split into. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time. I'm not broken.